Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Manx and I welcome you guys to another Fire Emblem character spotlight. Today we are showcasing the fortune-seeking Lost Prince of Johanna, Joshua! Joshua is the Prince of Johanna and the only son of the Queen Ishmael. His father is strangely enough never mentioned in the story, so we can probably assume he's dead. Joshua was trained to wield a sword by the leader of Jahanna's army, the swordmaster Kerlil. Ten years prior to the event of the Sacred Stones, Joshua decided to leave Jahanna as he deemed himself unworthy of succeeding the crown. He felt he didn't understand his own people and how they lived their lives, and wanted to travel and see the world with his own eyes instead of living a secluded and overprotected life within the walls of his castle. During his travels, he used his skills taught to him by Carlyle to take up work as a sellsword, and met the young man Kalak, who had also become a mercenary to get away from his hometown in Jahanna. Joshua could relate to Kalak's situation, and they became fast friends, taking on many mercenary jobs together, though Joshua eventually decided to leave the group for his own personal reasons. During his travels, Joshua developed a love for gambling, and made a habit of visiting every single arena and gambling hall he came across. Due to his horrible luck, however, he became quite proficient at cheating, and would fool many unfortunate people into giving up their gold. His travels would eventually lead him to the town of Seraphue, where he took on a paid mission from Grado to assist in hunting down the cleric Natasha. Being smitten by her beauty upon seeing her, however, Joshua switched sides after letting a coin flip decide his fate. Though, judging from his ability to manipulate coin flips, as seen in a support conversation with Innes, it is pretty obvious he had already made up his mind upon seeing Natasha. From this point on, Joshua fought alongside Princess Erika of Rene in her war against Grado. During the conflict, he returned to his homeland alongside Erika, only to find it corrupted from within. His former master Carlil, driven mad by his love for Queen Ishmer, had betrayed Jahanna, siding with Grado and allowing them to invade his castle. He also learned that his former friend Kalak, now a general of Grado, had murdered his mother and destroyed their sacred stone. During the Battle of the Jahanna Dunes, Joshua encountered his old friend on the battlefield, and after a brief conversation, they fought a duel to the death, which Joshua eventually won, slaying Kalak and avenging his mother. Joshua decided to accompany Erika and Ephraim on their journey to reclaim their homeland, and would eventually help them banish the Demon King. After the war, Joshua returned home to Jahanna and was crowned king. His great leadership ushered in a golden age for the country, but despite his new position, he would still occasionally sneak off to gamble. Joshua is a young handsome man with a slender athletic build. His red hair goes down to his upper back, similar to that of his mother. He dresses himself in a classic traveler's outfit, with a dark green jacket, sturdy boots and a fancy hat, and usually has a curious smile on his face. Joshua's personality can only be described as carefree and adventurous. He has a seemingly unquenchable thirst for gambling, and also seems to have a weakness for beautiful ladies, particularly blondes. He has a very pragmatic outlook on life, having no quarrels about cheating people out of their money, as can be seen in his support conversations with Innes, where he fools the prince out of a large sum of gold by cheating. Weirdly, however, Joshua displays a lot of honesty in his conversation, even going as far as offering to give Innes his money back, contrasting that of his cheating nature. This clearly displays that Joshua is more interested in the thrill of gambling itself, more than the rewards that it offers. As a unit, Joshua is quite impressive, even by Sacred Stone standards. His base stats are extremely good for a level 5 Myrmidon, spotting a ridiculous base speed of 14, allowing him to double nearly every enemy he encounters for a very long time. While he initially appears as an enemy unit, he does not get hard mode bonuses, but he doesn't need them anyway. 
Joshua's low luck is quite symbolic of his character, and reflects the fact that he needs to cheat to win bets. He does, on the other hand, have fantastic skill and speed growth, befitting of a Myrmidon, but will most likely cap both stats long before reaching level 20, meaning an early promotion could do him some good. Joshua's only real weakness is a very low resistance stats, which combined with his somewhat low luck can make him a sitting duck for enemy magic users. Luckily for him, Sacred Stone's magic wielding enemies are so rare and enemy status staves are so infrequent that this hardly becomes an issue, and it's nothing a pure water or a barrier staff can't protect him from. He can promote to either an assassin or a swordmaster, the latter being the superior choice unless you are really desperate for a unit capable of wielding lockpicks. Just keep in mind that after recruiting Joshua, the next map that holds treasure chests will also be the map where Renak the rogue appears. The silencer skill is extremely RNG and seldom does much good aside from giving him a little bit of extra experience, and the lower promotion gains and stat caps simply do not hold up to the swordmaster class. Overall, Joshua is one of the better units in Sacred Stones, though the argument can be made that everyone is good in that game. Still, his likeable personality and interesting backstory makes him a fan favorite, as shown by the straw poll in my Fire Emblem 8 Let's Play. Thank you for watching this Fire Emblem character spotlights. Let me know who you want featured in the next episode by telling me in the comments section. If you would be so kind as to give this video a like, that also helps out my channel a ton, and if you hit the subscribe button, you'll be automatically notified when the next video is released. At any rate, my name's been Manx, and I'll see you guys next time.